Hey there guys, Shigra here again with another update on portfolio performance over the past week. On what was a relatively risk-off week, we did see an outline to the performance with CBAM 5 outperforming, um, outperforming up 1.62%, whereas CBAM 1 was down about 9 basis points to flattish. And then looking at top performers on the one-week basis after an annual meeting where um, shareholders finally um, got a peek at that new sort of biannual net asset value review of the catalog for hypnosis investment trusts we did see a bullish week in which the investment songs trust was up 5.63 percent and also just a weak inflation reading coming out of the u.s lower than expectation at 7.1 percent um, being a net positive in terms of interest rate going forward and the potential discounts applied to revenue streams also um, also being lower and that being a net positive for the investment songs trust and then we also saw um, some up I mean some underperformance there for FTSE midcap the relatively risk of week if we brought up to the Bank of Eng um, the Bank of England interest rate um, decision and also that inflation reading that we got on Wednesday coming from the Bank of England um, was some temporary respite which was down 10.7% um, below um, and also that was a number below market expectations so that'll be a net positive for UK assets but as you'll see there US assets also selling off and gold also selling off more than 3% on that one week basis. Looking at a quarter to date basis, we have our performance of 10 of, 10 of the portfolios versus benchmarks, with returns ranging from 6.88% for CBAM portfolio number 5 down to 3.76% for CBAM portfolio number 1. We continue to see that narrative of a turnaround for European equities, which would see Allianz. Bailey Gifford and Aberdeen European smaller companies all up more than 13% on a quarter to date basis as we begin to see some capitulation on that um, energy um, price inflation that we have been concerned about with Europe and some strong reserves in a, in a warmer than expected winter as well acting as winter headwinds for European equities. Um, then looking over to detractors from performance on a quarter to date basis we saw headwinds there for our equity Indian subcontinent as investors begin to mouth that downgrade for GDP growth outlook coming into 2023 down from 6.9 to 5.9 percent and really triggering a bit of a sell-off there especially driven in the first half of the year with that reopening trade or that re reopening euphoria um, being taken out of the equation and also some monetary tightening despite obviously um, equity Indian being up um, about 2% on the year-to-date basis which is a net positive and then we did see concerns on the quarter building up to um, the last sort of round of Fed decisions being a concern for hypnosis investment songs trust down 3.14 percent then some headwinds there in the high yield space as investors sought higher yield from I mean higher yields from um, longer duration government bonds and going towards treasuries and then moving away from U.S. high yield corporate bonds and you'd see that headwind there down 2.71% um, on a quarter to date basis. Wishing everyone a pleasant um, festive season and then we'll be catching up with you in the coming year. Thank you.